Hello and uh, welcome to your Monday. It's Monday of the fifth week of Lent already. We continue with our extracts from the letter of St. Ignatius to Padre Manuel Godino. May the peace, the shalom, this restoring, healing, life-giving power of God fill your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Amen. So I quote, everything by the grace of God our Lord was done with due edification. We'll stop. Now, you know, I believe a big part of Ignatius's admonitions to his brother Jesuits, to us, <laughs> involved something about edifying others. Hmm? Literally, to edify means to instruct or improve someone morally or intellectually. And the etymology of edify is from edificare, right, in Latin, which means to build up. So Father Manuel, in his position as rector of a college, had younger Jesuits under his care. And you can hear Ignatius's desire that through the grace of God, everything that he does is done with due edification. Hmm? So do we edify one another? in our thoughts, words, and actions, in our families, at work, at school? Do we build each other up? Do we look to instruct or improve others morally and intellectually? It's sad to say, but many times we tend to tear down one another to gossip, right? And as Pope Francis says, I think we succumb to this disease of indifference and throwing away others. Ignatius and the scriptures invite us today to edify one another. Romans 14, 19 says, let us therefore make every effort to do what leads to peace and to mutual edification. And 1 Corinthians 10.23 says, this is the NIV, but it says, I have the right to do anything you say, but not everything is beneficial. I have the right to do anything, but not everything is constructive. So let's ask for the grace to edify, to build up all those who cross our path today. St. Ignatius of Loyola, pray for us. St. Joseph, pray for us. All well, blessings on your Monday.